what happens when you combine one of the greatest fighting game studios of all time and one of the most influential anime of all time? Well, the answer is quite simply something magical. Dragon Ball Fighter Z is a 2D3 vs 3 style fighting game, much in the likes of the Marvel vs Capcom series of games, in which you get to control various characters from the Dragon Ball universe and attempt to beat the ever-loving shit out of your opponents. The game's plot follows the usual Dragon Ball gang, as well as many various revived enemies as they venture throughout the world in order to find out the cause of the mysterious waves of energy that are sapping all of their strength, all the while learning about the newcomer for this game, Android 21. During this story mode, you will find yourself on various boards that you must navigate within a limited number of turns, a limitation that I honestly find silly and unnecessary by the way, in order to face opponents, build up your team by rescuing characters and ultimately seek out the boss character in order to proceed to the next area. While the standard progression of the single player is nothing special if I am to be honest, the cutscenes and dialogue between the characters more than make this mode worth going through. It also serves as a simple tutorial at the start too, as the AI is ludicrously easy in the first story arc. With unique cutscenes appearing periodically depending on what characters you have selected, it's honestly just entertaining to see the usual Dragon Ball, <coughs> I mean Dragon Ball gang, interact with each other. As I previously stated, the gameplay follows a 3 vs 3 style battle system, not unlike the Marvel vs Capcom series. However, what I myself am severely impressed with here is how well everything works together. The buttons are extremely responsive and the game itself is surprisingly newcomer friendly, offering a relatively simple 4 button control scheme with the triggers and bumpers, if you're using an Xbox bat of course, offering the ability to tag between your other characters and combo into them seamlessly. Heck, even the super moves are all reasonably easy to use as every character in this game follows one typical way to perform them, which if you ever played a Street Fighter game, it's the quarter circle motion, similar to throwing a hadouking or the tatsumurki sin poo poo move. I can never pronounce the fucking whirlwind kick from that game. This game also offers auto combos that allow the player to easily pull off small attack chains, which many may think would remove all of the challenge from the game. But alas, I give you joyous news. These auto combos are not the ideal way to fight. While this game is very simple to get into and play casually, there is a lot of depth beneath the surface here that I honestly believe perfectly treads the fine line of being accessible enough for newcomers and deep enough with a ton of systems for those that learn the game and want to play at a higher level and take advantage of everything. Outside of the basic gameplay, I have to just give credit to the presentation here. This game is utterly a treat to look at. I've had various fights here that honestly felt like I was taking part in a section of the actual Durgan Bowl show. Everything is hyper flashy, very fast paced, and seemingly every single frame has a shit ton of love and effort put into it. In fact, I'd say this game for Durgan Bowl fans can potentially be called the ultimate fan service based on how it's presented alone. Though many fans may disagree with me here because the character choice, for example, is a lot less than in previous games with this license, though what this game has that many lack is that the characters all have, well, a lot of character. Take Tenkaichi games, for example, where most of the characters feel the same, with exceptions here and there, of course. While here, every single character follows the base control scheme, but feels utterly different to each other. Hell, there's three Gokus in this game's roster, which is a bit excessive, I admit, and all three of them feel like a completely different character, even though one Goku technically is a different character in-universe, but I digress. One aspect of this title I feel may be a bit more questionable for people, however, is the menu and lobby systems. In these, you get to run around as a Chibi Durgan Bowl character in a tiny hub area 
where you are able to select the mode you would like to play. Which I personally love just due to the style of everything, but I have seen rumblings around of people complaining non-stop about these. As you would expect too, the game offers online play where you are able to take your fists to another player's face globally. Here there are various open servers that you are able to join, and within these you can access matchmaking, create ring matches which serve as like mini custom lobbies that people can join, or fight others in the arena match at the center of the area. You can also get loot capsules too for cosmetics in your lobbies also. But before you get your pitch folks, it's all free and doesn't have any microtransactions, at least for the time being anyway. The netcode in general as well, I've noticed, has been pretty goddamn fantastic, with very little lag. There are exceptions here and there obviously, but honestly, out of most of the fighting games I've played, this has been one of the most stable online experiences I've had yet. The problem, however, is with the matchmaking and arena match systems that are in place. I have found that I can sometimes take upwards to 10 or more minutes to find a match online at times, which is quite simply infuriating. Ultimately, however, Durgan Bowl Fighter Z is without a doubt one of the best fighting games I've ever played, period. Though, take that with a grain of salt, I'm not usually much of a fighter fan and one of the biggest love letters to a franchise I've ever seen, offering a huge amount of style, easy to play, hard to master gameplay, and a fantastic soundtrack all around too. If this game is any indication, 2018 is off to a fantastic start.